Join us in the adventure of the Lost Teddy, where Emma's search teaches us English through community, kindness, and heartwarming surprises. So, let's embark on our today's narrative journey. Emma was devastated when she realized her beloved teddy bear, Mr. Snuggles, was missing. She searched her room from top to bottom, but couldn't find him anywhere. Mr. Snuggles wasn't just a teddy bear, he was Emma's best friend and she couldn't imagine a day without him. Determined to find her cherished companion, Emma decided to enlist the help of her neighborhood. With a flyer in hand, Emma knocked on her neighbor, Mrs. Jenkins' door. Mrs. Jenkins, an elderly woman, with a warm smile, was known for her knitting, and always seemed to have a yarn of wisdom to share. Don't worry, Emma, she said kindly. We'll find Mr. Snuggles in no time. She offered to help make more flyers and spread the word. As they ventured down the street, Emma spotted Tim, the boy, who always played soccer in his yard. Tim, have you seen my teddy bear? Emma asked, showing him the flyer. Tim hadn't seen Mr. Snuggles, but he promised to keep an eye out while he was practicing his soccer skills. Walking further, they met Lucy, who was sitting on her porch, engrossed in a book. Lucy, can you help me look for my teddy bear? Emma inquired. Lucy agreed, setting her book aside, eager to assist. Together, they continued their search, turning it into a grand adventure. As they searched, Emma found other lost items. She discovered a stray kitten near the bushes, which she returned to its grateful owner, Mr. Thompson. He was so pleased that he joined their search party, bringing along his loyal dog, Max. Next, they came across a little boy named Jack, crying because he had lost his favorite toy truck. Emma helped him find it behind a hedge, and Jack's parents joined the search too offering hot cocoa to keep everyone's spirits high. Their search party grew larger with each step. Emma was amazed at how everyone came together, each person bringing their unique strengths. Mrs. Jenkins' organizational skills, Tim's athleticism, Lucy's keen eye for detail, Mr. Thompson's dog Max's excellent tracking abilities, all combined in their quest to find Mr. Snuggles. While they didn't find Mr. Snuggles immediately, the adventure brought the neighborhood closer together. Emma learned about the importance of helping others, as the community spirit shone through every act of kindness. She realized that, even though she was in need, she could still make a difference by helping others. By the end of the day, they gathered in the local park for a break. Just then, Max started barking, and ran towards a large oak tree. There, tangled in the branches, was Mr. Snuggles, looking a bit worse for wear but safe. Emma beamed with joy as she hugged her teddy bear tightly. The neighborhood cheered, and Emma thanked everyone for their help. The adventure not only brought back Mr. Snuggles, but also forged new friendships and a stronger community bond. Emma learned that sometimes, when you lose something precious, you find something even more valuable in return, the support and love of those around you. Congratulations on completing the adventure of the lost Teddy! Your dedication to learning English is impressive! Let's revisit the keywords and phrases from our story to help them stick! A quick refresher to boost your English skills! Number one, devastated, extremely upset and shocked. Number two, beloved, very much loved. Number three, determined, having a strong feeling to do something. Number four, cherished, dearly loved and cared for. Number five, enlist, to get help or support. Number six, elderly, old or advanced in age. Number seven, yarn, a long story, often made up. Number eight, spread the word to tell many people about something. Number 9. Ventured, when somewhere that might be dangerous. Number 10. Promised, said that you would definitely do something. Number 11. 
practicing, doing something repeatedly to improve. Number 12, engrossed, fully absorbed or occupied. Number 13, agreed, said yes to something. Number 14, adventure, an exciting or unusual experience. Number 15, stray, lost or without a home. Number 16, grateful, thankful. Number 17, loyal, faithful and devoted. Number 18, spirits, emotions or mood. Number 19, amazed, very surprised. Number 20, strengths, strong points or advantages. Number 21, organizational skills, ability to arrange and manage things well. Number 22, athleticism, physical strength and fitness. Number 23, tracking, following or finding something by looking for signs. Number 24, importance, the quality of being significant or valuable. Number 25, beamed, smiled broadly. Number 26, forged, created or formed. Number 27, support, help or assistance. Number 28, from top to bottom, thoroughly. Number 29, flyer, a small handbill or leaflet. Number 30, keep an eye out, to watch carefully for something. Number 31, search party, a group of people looking for someone or something. Number 32, bringing along, taking someone with you. Number 33, hedge, a row of bushes or small trees. Number 34, quest, a long or difficult search. Number 35, shown through, became apparent. Number 36, tangled, twisted together. Number 37, precious, of great value. If you learned some new words or laughed along the way, smash that like button. And for more stories that will help you rock your English skills, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the video on screen for more fun ways to learn English. See you next time.